Yeah. <laughs> Why am I holding nunchucks and looking like I'm trying to do a karate kick or something? <laughs> I'm clumsy, but hey, maybe I can learn. Let's see where I can do that. Stay tuned. Hello LEGO friends, Matt from Brooks Bricks here with a video taking a look at another mock that I have just completed. This is an idea that I've had for months <laughs> and I knew I wanted to put into place when I built my Chinatown space. This is the second floor of that um, in progress building I've been working on. The last couple of videos I've showcased the currency exchange and the police uh, supply store. Um, you can see those in my channel as well. But, um, try to figure out how I could do this next thing I'm going to show you guys here in this video. I thought about it for a while, I finally went ahead and built it, and with how it came out, I'm honestly really, really happy. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you <laughs> the Karate Dojo. <laughs> yes. So, the front of the building is pretty nondescript, to be honest. It's kind of just kind of a brick facade here with some windows um but you'll see inside lots of action going on here so the way to get to this building is the back stairway leading up to this platform here in the doorway inside um you can see a lot of sand green usage here with some layers i'm very happy with how it came out wanted to use a bunch of those six wide and four wide pieces i picked up from uh, pick a brick halls but anyway, let's go ahead and take a look inside the dojo. And we'll start inside the entrance. <coughs> so first, the doorway here into the small office. And this is the main office for the sensei, the karate master, <laughs> his house of dojo. So you can see he's got a little computer here. He's got a lamp, a cup of tea, maybe some files. And some kind of plaque or award kind of thing there. Um, I will note that some of the stuff I have for this actually came from <clears throat> set 71735, the Ninjango Tournament of Elements set. Um, a lot of these pieces I'm actually going to save for other Chinatown stuff too, so I'm really happy about getting a lot of pieces from this. But that's where this little, um, where's my finger? This little plaque came from. So I thought it felt it felt right just going in there, so that's that. Moving into the hallway, we've got a small um, space here. This is going to be kind of a, basically like a changing room, so students and whatnot can walk into here. They can change into their um, their gi and get ready for class and whatnot. And there's just, you know, just a lamp and a dresser, storage, stuff like that. So, anyway, so that's just a couple of ancillary parts to the build. Let me get to the main section here, the main floor. Before I do, kind of the fun that I wanted to have with this is, I wanted to show maybe this dojo has won a number of awards in tournaments, kind of, you know, Karate Kid and Cobra Kai, lots of awards here. So the owner, the sensei, is showing off various awards. So I just created some random trophies and things like that based out of pieces I've had. A um, couple of the gold um, nano figure pieces, um, smaller, I don't even know what that kind of trophy is. Larger, more important ones up here maybe. Particularly this guy here that actually has a Lord of the Rings style ring on it. <laughs> um, so that works. Next, moving along. This is kind of the audience and just kind of sitting space for folks that are not participating in um, any action on the floor at the moment. They can sit there and observe and watch things. And then, twisting the back around on the other side, we've got kind of a storage bin for some uh, various weapons of sorts, some nunchucks, and I uh, forget what they call these, katangs or whatever. <laughs> I don't think they're not machetes, but um, they do practice with those in the dojo too, so we got a storage place for those. But let me go ahead now and pull out a little bit to show you the main floor. Yes, here we go. 
I'm actually extremely happy with how this came out. Um, stickers from the Ninjago set, I think, fit perfectly in this space. Um, a couple of larger things to represent, kind of like the the sensei's history with karate and whatnot, and a smaller one, maybe kind of like a family representation or something like that. But it made me think back to Karate Kid 2 and uh, Mr. Miyagi's um, home in Okinawa, where he's got his little dojo there and the family crest or banners and whatnot for his entire lineage over there. So that's kind of what I'm kind of hearkening back with this. A little homage to Karate Kid 2. <laughs> And then looking on the other wall here, I've actually got one of those mirror pieces that came in the Assembly Square set. Um, this is on the floor where the ballerina is doing her um, her dancing. Let's move down just a little bit. Um, but I use kind of similar techniques to hold it in place here so it doesn't fall down, including this little rail piece up here. Yeah, it looks a little off kilter, off center, but it does the job. It holds the mirror in place and just a little rail there for appearance's sake. Now, of course, <laughs> the best part of this, the karate class. Now we've got our sensei here. Um, it's actually using one of the figures that came from the Ninjago set. I believe this is like a representation of the Golden Lloyd figure. But I decided to make him into the sensei, so I gave him an old, kind of an older, stern-looking face. Kind of the golden, white, gray hair. And he feels very Mr. Miyagi-ish to me. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of what he's supposed to be. And everybody else around him here are uh, various levels of students. You can tell some of these are figures from the Ninjago set and others are um, random figures, including a couple of the um, Series 20 uh, Karate Kid figures. But you can see various levels of students are all here kind of in class together. They're learning from their sensei. He's talking about various things, maybe before they start class or after they finish. You can see here we've got all kinds of folks. Different levels here. This is one of the torsos from the uh, Series 20 figure. I don't remember where this one came from, this, this torso here, but I thought that would work too. And I basically mixed up a bunch of faces and whatnot too. And I put in a girl as well. I wanted to make sure I included at least one girl because I thought it would be important, right? Um, but yeah, I thought this would be a really dynamic scene and I can always do things later where I can pose them in challenges and stuff like that and make fun little videos for the channel too. Um, but yeah, like I said, I have been waiting months to build this idea. I didn't know how to do it for a long time. I finally went ahead and just did it. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very happy with how this came out. I think it looks fantastic. I think it's fun. Even the, the floor mat with all the color and diversity there, I think just looks fantastic. So in a nutshell, that is my... Um, Karate Dojo Mock. This is the second floor. I'm gonna go ahead and just put the top floor on to kind of close out what this building looks like real quick. Just to highlight that. I'll just settle it on there for a minute. So I just want to give this a slightly embellished roof structure here. Just kind of make it look a little bit more than just a flat rooftop. And I think it came out pretty good. I'm very happy with this. Um, I will say that the front of these windows here, this is gonna be very close to where the monorail track curves around. Um, but it's gonna work, it's gonna look just right, I think, and the, the curve of this will kind of go right over the train, so I think it'll look good. But with that, I'm gonna say that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed that look at my little karate dojo. This whole thing will go into Chinatown next to the monorail station, um, and you will see this in future city updates very, very soon, now that I've got this section completed. So for now, as always, I want to thank my subscribers in particular for your continued support and watching. I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button because I really appreciate that. Share the video. Leave some comments below. Tell me what you think. All that great stuff. I try to respond to everybody where I can. But until next time, again, thanks for watching and hi <laughs> See you later.